Hello Cine Tech Geeks, here we are at USL and USL has a number of products which should interest anyone putting in a DCI cinema and we're going to cover those today and we have, please introduce yourself Clint Cook, Sales Director for USL Ultra Stereo Laboratories and in front of us the first product we're going to start with is the spot meter and this is what we need to use to make sure that the colour on the screen is um, basically calibrated to the colour that the director wants the, the viewer to see. So let's go over quickly, uh, well I'll get... Um okay, to start with it's a spectrometer built on the inside of it and basically it gives you luminance values, small x, small y, chromaticity values so you can do color calibration for red, green and blue and any of the other colors that the projector uh, manufacturer puts in there. When the projector is delivered to the theater, obviously it was left the factory with certain settings. Yes. It will shift on, on transport. Um, once it gets there, the technician will need to set it up, verify that the luminance values are, are solid in there, and then he will go ahead and run the different colors. And as he does that, this little pattern down here I know is kind of small, um, but what we'll have is, let me get up there, we have the luminance values at the top. We have it in foot, foot Lamberts or candela per meter squared. Then we have small x and small y. And then coming down here, we have the chromaticity values. We, right now, the, the unit itself is continuously scanning. It's constantly taking readings. Um, if you hit scan down there, it'll freeze those readings in time. Once the readings are frozen, you can go ahead and export them into an MS document, an Excel spreadsheet, so you have a report. That report can then be you know, posted on the side of the projector for the next time you come in six to nine months later and do the readings again. Okay, cool. cool. Now, so this is done when you first install the projector? Yes. And how often should a projector be recalibrated? Again, that's more of a question I would think for the projector manufacturer, but I would suggest every time a technician comes through and does a PM in the theater, take a quick look with your eyes if the colors look off, throw that up there. It only takes a minute to take the readings and it'll verify that the small x and small y and chromaticity values are, have not drifted too far. Now, would a cinema owner purchase one of these or would uh, only a technician who comes in periodically? Um, both. A technician should definitely have one with them if they're servicing digital cinema theaters, but a theater owner could have one there too in case he gets a complaint that it says it looks off. He can go ahead and throw it up real fast and take a reading compared to what was posted onto the side of the projector and if it's off, call the technician out to have it adjusted. Cool. I'd also like to mention that as as I'm uh, I'm a, um, I, I'm um, certified to do this sort of work is that um, you probably you will need to do this sort of measurement. You can get away without doing it, but you need to do it to keep your cinema in DCI spec within Absolutely. the standard. So it is important to do. And as someone who has done this. I've gone up and installed a projector, had a look at the screen, it looks great, but I've gone and we've done this and it does visually, you can say, well that does look better. So very highly recommended that you do keep your screens up to scratch. One thing I'd like to say about it also, the unit, the PCA100, takes its power from the laptop itself, so there's no AC power packs or batteries that are going to die. You do require a laptop to look at the readings with this. Um, but that's actually very nice because then you can store everything in the laptop and have all that data retained. Cool. Mm -hmm. well, let's go into the next product. Okay. Um, now this is more of a, a film, film measurement product, yep. so tell us about that. This is what we call our PSA 200. It, is a, it was a film based product and uh, basically it takes a look at the luminance values on the screen and it divides the screen into 45 sections in those 45 sections each one of them is taking 10 readings so if we step over here to this laptop I can pull the program up real fast which is running in the background at this point and voila the back of the camera here it's a black and white CCD camera we have an LCD screen on here and as you can zoom in and out from here you can see I put my hand over it and the screen goes black pull my hand away and then the luminance values are back again Basically, in each one of these squares, we're taking 10 readings. So we have 450 spot meters in real time. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll, when you first come to the auditorium and you set up your, your camera, we recommend two-thirds of the way back in the auditorium. Turn on the projector, look at the screen, zoom in and out from here or from the laptop itself, and 
get as much of the screen in there as you can. There's an auto alignment function in the software. You would hit auto alignment, it would find the maskings of the screen, bring it in all in 5%, and then take readings only within that area. Okay, and let me just requalify. This, this tool is mainly for calibrating or testing a tr traditional film projector. It is definitely based for 35 millimeter film or 70 millimeter film projectors, but can be used with digital cinema projectors just to make sure that the white light is even, make sure the luminance is nice and even across the screen. Cool. Now, we've got a new product here, which is um, very much... Um, only for digital cinema. Only for digital cinema and, and really um, something that a, a high-end tech is most likely to want to, to use. And it's a... a, a what is it? Um, we call it the VCC-100. VCC stands for Video Convergence Camera. Basically, it's a lens barrel with the CCD camera on the back side of it and has a little laser pointer to find it. If you could step around here, all the way across the trade show floor, I'd say a couple hundred yards, or, um, is a barco sign. And we are looking at that barco sign here on the laptop. Uh, the floor does bounce here, hence the reason you see it moving right there. Basically, when you're setting up a digital projector, you must con um, align the convergence pattern, which uh, I don't know if you can see this there or not. But the convergence pattern is pro projected onto the screen via the projector, obviously. You must align those pixels, those low dots right there. And let me just say that when, when, a, when a projector is being shipped to your theater, usually it'll be going you know, maybe in a plane or in a truck going through some vicious vibrations and those vibrations can make the DMDs or the DLP chips mounted in there move that ever so slightly and that will be magnified uh, like one or two pixels onto the screen. So that's why when you get a delivery it should always go through a convergence test. Yes, and with this the, key, the projectionist as he's adjusting the projector to get that convergence pattern back aligned again would normally have to adjust the projector slightly, get up, look out the port glass window with the scope, go back, adjust again, get up again, back and forth, which is not an exact science. By utilizing this camera here, he's looking right at the laptop as he's adjusting the projector, so he's actually watching the convergence pattern change as he adjusts the projector. It's going to save the technician a lot of time. Ideally, we recommend two cameras, one for convergence pattern top left, one for top right or top and bottom, or any two patterns you choose. Because as you adjust the left pattern, the right pattern is moving too. So, yeah, so just to clarify that, the, the DLP or DMD chips aren't directly adjustable in XYZ because the pivots are offset. When you adjust one, it usually adjusts another point as well. So you need to basically slowly adjust them in a, in a very um, procedural way to bring your convergence into shape. Having two cameras will obviously make that a far quicker job. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, this tool actually came from suggestions from technicians in the field to make their job a lot easier.